Hello Pisces, welcome to a you and them love reading. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Keep that in mind. Also, this is a reading for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. So let's get right into it. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Pisces regarding love? For Pisces. No, we're going to look at your current connection, what's going on, how you feel about each other, and what is their next action, or what are their next actions going to be. But first, we're going to start with what's going on in your connection. I haven't asked my question, but free yourself wanted to pop out. All right, spirit. Oh my God, my deck's going crazy. What is going on in the connection between Pisces and their person? What's going on? What's the situation for Pisces in love? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, bottom of the deck, I have honeymoon. I heard distance. When I saw this card, the immediate thought that I got was distance. So let's see, what are the energies surrounding this connection? I'm gonna use my new energy oracle deck to see what's going on. This will be available soon. What, oh my gosh, my dog is playing with the loudest toy ever. So if you can hear that, please ignore him. What are the energies surrounding this connection for Pisces? Wow, okay. First card out, wow, okay, we got love letter, message, confession, response, a special message is on its way. And then we got true love, the connection between you is genuine and true, love, union, and coming together. Wow, okay, so this could be for a lot of you, a genuine connection, something very special, um, maybe something that has been, um, new for some of you because I have getting to know each other here but I also have whenever I get this card I think there's something that needs to be revealed and so since I have love letter here I think this has probably something to do with opening up to each other in some way so let's see what the tarot says what's going on for Pisces in love what's going on for Pisces in love let's see what we get Oh, we got the star, Aquarius energy, and then seven of swords reverse. Something's coming to light here. And I think it's gonna be through a message. Can I get one more for Pisces? What's going on for them in love? We have the knight of swords reverse, and then at the bottom of the deck, two of swords. Notice how she's blindfolded. So it's almost like you might not know something here. There's indecision with the two of swords. Um, this closed off energy holding back um, and I have the Knight of Swords reverse with the Seven of Swords reverse. So I feel like there's something that's not being said. Um, now because the energy oracles are so good, um, I'm not going to jump to conclusions here, Pisces, but we'll see when we clarify if this is someone that you can count on or rely on or if this is someone that's on your side. So let's clarify, let's get into this. Tell me more for Pisces, please. Let me clarify these energies spirit for Pisces. The star is Aquarius energy. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here on the board. You might be dealing with an air, air sign, does not have to be. Now the star is all about uh, healing, renewal, faith, self care, uh, hope, having a wish sometimes. But you know what I'm seeing this as? I'm seeing this as a spotlight. And we'll see if I'm right about that. It's almost like there's a light shining on this person, on this woman. And it's like you can see her very clearly in the dark. So we'll see. Tell me more, Spirit. Help me clarify these energies for Pisces. Why is the star here? Those two came out. Five of Wands reversed. The Empress, beautiful. 
someone um, wants to overcome the conflict here this could be somebody wanting to fix something with an empress why is the star here avoid the drama as well with an empress a very feminine uh, motherly type figure someone um has a lot, a lot of worth a lot of value um is able to grow and manifest i get one more for the star queen of wands reversed okay so bottom of the deck i have the queen of pentacles i feel like there's multiple people here Queen of Wands reversed, they tend to make mistakes. They are kind of attention hogs. Yeah, Knight of Swords reversed again. Um, I feel like this could be somebody, this could be your person or it could be somebody um, around you that you cannot trust. This is someone who craves attention, uh, might be deceptive, might be holding back certain information. I don't like this energy of this Queen of Wands reversed. I feel like it's someone else other than this Empress. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. This could be a friend, a parent here. Um, in, you know, it could be anybody. But I feel like they're two different energies. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. What is this about? This is usually somebody getting caught. Oops. This could be um, someone getting caught, someone being seen uh, very clearly. Why is the Seven of Swords? Yeah, two of cups reverse. This could lead to a separation. And then we have the page of pentacles. It doesn't have to be a breakup, but it could be a disconnect. Um, that card, this, the honeymoon card made me think of distance. So this person could have pushed you away or you pop, probably um, pushed this person away because of what you found out. Tell me more about this seven of swords reverse. Yeah, this was not a successful, it could even be that someone wants to approach you with a small offer here. They might not be successful or perhaps something here happened. Um, yeah, the devil wanted to come out with the Ace of Wands. Capricorn energy here and the Ace of Wands, new beginning, passionate. This could be a, someone that's very passionate about you, obsessed, uh, very, um, it just held like held, like holding tightly. I have the Ten of Swords at the bottom here, uh, reversed. I really feel like you probably cut something out, but I think this person, they, they still have a lot of passion and desire for you. This Page of Pentacles could even be this love letter, a message coming in here. You could be dealing with Capricorn, someone with Capricorn in their chart does not have to be, but um, I'm getting the sense of someone like watching, being watchful the stars like they can see you they have their eyes on you you are a star I, in my mind i'm picturing someone who is like on a stage and the spotlight is on them so i feel like this person whoever this is it's, it's almost like a very um possessive type of energy like they really want something can i get some more for this devil and ace of wands please for pisces why is this here This is here, spirit. Yeah, th this could be a third party um, situation. Three of swords reverse. I feel like someone was kind of um, given the cold shoulder, put out into the cold. Someone is struggling here. The high priest is reverse behind that. So I feel like whatever has come to light, if this hasn't happened, it probably will in the near future for a lot of you. Um, but this is something that is like the high priest is reverse. This is some, something being revealed. It's like you've got, you're learning something about a, a person or situation. Um, the Three of Swords Rivers could be anything interfering in this connection. It could even be addictions. Um, it could be temptation, someone being tempted. It could be um, someone making the wrong choices here with the Devil, Queen of Wands reversed. But I feel like there's going to be some sort of disconnect here. Perhaps this has already happened in the past and this person wants to fix it because I have this star here. Why is the uh, Knight of Swords reversed? Why is the Knight of Swords reversed? 
Okay, so this is somebody that is speaking up, restless. Maybe after oh, some, some time of silence. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Oh, Four of Wands reverse. Someone is not, this is not a happy home. This is, could be somebody leaving a home. This could be somebody not um, having a lot of stability in their home life. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Wow, we got the Wheel of Fortune. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups reverse, the Ten of Swords reverse. This is a cycle that I feel has already taken place here. Um, the Ten of Swords reverse, usually for me as a reader, it's someone that wants to forgive and move on with their life. Um, I have the Knight of Pentacles reverse and the Seven of Pentacles, no, the Seven of Swords reverse again, excuse me. So I feel like there's some sort of delay here, but it's almost like it's due to someone's own actions. What's behind that? Nine of Swords reverse. Someone overcoming fear or perhaps someone having some sort of mental breakdown or, or their worry or anxiety is kind of taking over. Wow, this is like a story here. Someone really, I feel, I feel they're very fearful or anxious about something here. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. This is a huge change. Uh, divine timing coming in. Uh, a lucky break. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Nine of Pentacles, interesting. Can I get one more for this Wheel of Fortune? This is someone, okay, Five of Swords. Again, I get the sense of, um, this is probably gonna be a communi uh, some sort of communication coming in. I have the King of Swords at the bottom here, but be very careful because I feel like someone might not be telling you everything with the Five of Swords. This could be somebody that, um, I don't know, there's conflict here, possibilities for conflict. I don't know if it's with you specifically, Pisces, but I feel like, you know, it's like someone sees this Nine of Pentacles and they want that Nine of Pentacles, very similar to the Empress. They want an opportunity. They want something to change possibly with this Nine of Pentacles. And here they are, they don't want to fail with the Five of Swords. Let's get um, some sort of, let's get information about how you feel about each other. If I could talk English. Spirit, tell me how these two are thinking or feeling about one another. What are the energies that they're bringing to this connection, Pisces and their person? What are the energies that they're bringing to their connection? The energies that they're bringing to their connection. What energies is Pisces bringing to this connection? We got hidden motives, deception, secrets, avoidance. Someone's hiding their true motives. And then bottom of the deck, I have patiently waiting. Waiting, patience, faith. What you desire will be given at the right time. Have faith. Um, I feel like, it, I don't know. I don't know if this already, if I did a reading recently, but it's almost like Pisces, like something about suspicions being proven correct or, or some sort of doubt that you're having here. Let's see. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are the energies that they're bringing? We have Victory Lab. Success, recognition, triumph. You're being recognized and admired for your success. So what I'm getting is this person wants to win. Yeah, standing firm. Standing firm against any challenge. Um, courage, defense, resistance. I feel like this is someone that really wants to fight for this connection or wants to be successful here. Let's get some more. Tell me more about these energies between Pisces. How do I, I forgot how to shuffle these. I'll just do it like this. Tell me more about the energies between Pisces and this person. I don't know what's going on that I just can't shuffle. <laughs> mm, I think. Okay. I think that's right. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I like forgot how to do it. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about Pisces and their energies. Spirit. Tell me more about Pisces. Now, Pisces, um, I have you on this side. 
yeah, there's worry and anxiety here. It's like you're worried that someone's not being truthful. You're nervous about being right, being proven right, or maybe you're just focusing on certain things, you know, trying to distract yourself. Now, what I was saying is, I have you on this side, I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Tell me more about your energies. Dear, this person has a lot of emotion. I feel like this is how they view you. Someone very special. Dear card for me is like the Queen of Cups. Can I get one more for this person? You are, I feel, a prize here. Yeah, Hyena. I feel like this person is hiding their true feelings here but I don't know if it's I just don't know if I can say for sure that this person has bad intentions we'll have to look at that in the extended like what their true intentions are right now what I see is someone who doesn't want to lose is having a hard time and got caught in a lie or got caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing and there's fear now Let's see, let's let's get some more information about both of you. Tell me more spirit about Pisces and this other person. Tell me more about what they're thinking or feeling. Tell me about Pisces. What are they thinking or feeling at this time? Eight of Swords. See, there's that fear. I feel like you are overthinking or you feel stuck because I feel there's something that you're not sure of. Can I get one more for Pisces? Eight of Cups. Some of you could even be thinking about walking away or worried that someone's going to walk away from you. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. I got the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are they thinking or feeling about Pisces or this connection? Ace of Wands again. So this is your person right here. They want a new beginning. They have a lot of passion, a motivation here. Eight of Coins. Yes, they're working hard on something. These two also fell out. Knight of Cups, Nine of Coin Reverse. Interesting. I feel like they're not, um, again, this person needs to speak up judgment at the bottom of the deck maybe they've had some sort of realization the hyena card they tend to hide behind a, uh, funny jokes they they're they're wearing um some sort of a mask because they don't have confidence i feel like your person is working on something here four of wands upright stability happiness harmony So let's clarify these energies. Let's get some more information here. Tell me more, the Pisces. What's going on here for Pisces and this person? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. The world yeah so you're worried about a cycle ending or beginning here can I get one more for the eight of swords moving forward judgment Wow I feel like you you know you need to make some sort of decision here maybe you want a second chance with this person or are willing to forgive this person it'll be different for all of you why is the eight of cups here Four of Cups just fell out. So maybe some of you aren't going to be open to this. Maybe you're not going to be interested in this. Why is Eight of Cups here? Nine of Cups. Some of you are thinking about walking forward to or moving on to something better for you. Because something's not working or perhaps the third party is just too much. Some of you are, are debating whether what your you know it's like what your mind is telling you and what your heart is telling you. You have the lovers here, so a difficult decision. That two of swords from earlier. 
I feel like you're the ones trying to make a decision of whether to stay in a certain cycle or move on to something completely new. What is this Eight of Coin about? They're working on something. Ooh, the Hierophant. Taurus energy. What is the Eight of Coin doing here? Ace of Cups reverse. The Star reverse. Okay, so this person, I feel like um, emotionally, <clears throat> There's a sense of hopelessness. This person could already be in a commitment. Uh, that could be the third party or something to do with family. I feel like this person needs, it's almost like um, maybe they've been doing everything that they're supposed to be doing, but they're not truly happy. Um, I feel like their happiness is elsewhere. Why is the four of wands here? Why is the four of wands here? Yeah, it's like they want to break free of whatever this is, whatever home situation they're in. They could be traveling to see you or leaving something here because they're not happy where they're at. I feel like they're they're thinking about something else. Have the magician here. So it's like whatever is being offered to them right now, they're not happy with it or it doesn't inspire them. They're not passionate about it. That's what they're looking for. Why is the ace of wands here? I feel like someone's in the way of their passion. I don't, yeah, okay. So I feel there's there's regret. This person has made some mistakes. They could be missing you and wanting to talk to you with the Queen of Swords and the Five of Cups. Or perhaps they want to talk about how they screwed up. Yeah, but this is about making something right. Something right because they didn't do things right the first time. I'm picking that up for sure. So what is, what, what's, what's next? What's this person, what are their next actions going to be? Spirit, what is this person's next actions going to be? And again, I have the Six of Wands, but with the Ace of Swords reversed. I feel like this person, either they have to be honest about something or they have to speak up about something because something is off here. You have the Ace of Cups with the Sun. What is this person next action is going to be? They could have even been heartbroken at whatever went down between you. Or perhaps they feel like they can't open up to you or be open about how they feel because they're in a situation right now that maybe, I don't know, it's kind of like in the way I feel. Tell me if that's resonating for you Pisces in the comments. What are their next actions going to be, Spirit? The high priestess see something is not being communicated or is being kept like in a mist like a secret or mystery here the wheel is here again the wheel of fortune so something might be changing here something might be turning around queen of swords reversed and then again we have the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck so i feel like someone here has not this queen of swords reverse is really reminding me of the knight of swords reverse this five of swords and the seven of swords reverse. I feel like someone's not revealing something. It's not being completely open or honest about something. And I think you know it. There has to be a change in this connection. This person, they could be making a huge change in their life or taking advantage of a certain opportunity. And maybe they're working in secret because they're focused on trying to make something right. They, they, they are passionate about a new beginning and they're motivated on making that happen, on having success. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. And if you have any comments for me, of course, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching Pisces and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.